Now, police in northern Nigeria say a 14-year-old girl has confessed to killing the man she had been forced to marry. The girl is said to have used poison to kill her husband, who was more than twice her age. Several other people also died after eating food prepared by the girl. We'll get more details on that in just a moment. But first, let's take a look, a closer look at the incidence of a child marriage, that's marriage under the age of 18, in Africa and the rest of the world. Now, the UN says if current child marriage marriage rates continue, more than 140 million girls will become child brides between now and 2020. Now, the African countries with the highest rates of child marriage are Niger, Chad and the Central African Republic. 50% of Nigerian girls living in rural areas are married before they turn 18. Well, with me is Ali Utanko from the BBC's House of Service to explore this further. You have been speaking to authorities in Kano about this latest incident. What have they been telling you? Well, the police uh, said that um, this girl has confessed her crime and um, they have invited the parents to come and uh, talk to them on this issue because um, the parents are accused of um, forcing this girl into this union she don't like. And, uh, you know, this whole issue has led to the hospitalization of uh, 10 people apart from the four people that died. So about 14 people are involved in this uh, whole issue and um, the parents uh, denied forcing her into that union because according to them uh, she was they proposed the first man she said no the second man no and the third man she agreed to that and they they blessed the union and um, made them couples but uh, all of a sudden they had this issue uh, we're looking at statistics here and they, they we we're looking at 50 percent of girls in nigeria's rural areas married under the age of 18. um what's the status of child uh, marriages under the law it's meant to be illegal isn't it well uh, the, the nigerian constitution is a bit ambiguous in terms of uh, this issue because um subsec uh, section 24 Subsection 4 is saying that um, any woman who is married shall be deemed to be of full age. That's what they said. So full it means, yeah, full age. But um, the Constitution said full age means 18. But um, this other section is now saying any woman who is married out will be deemed to be of full age. So that, still a, that a confusion. confusion is there and um, the interpretation will continue to be different in terms of what is the legality or not of it. But you have been monitoring the reaction on the ground uh, through social media, your audience, or your audiences. What are they saying about this? Well, mixed this reactions, yeah. mixed reactions because um, most people are arguing that why should in the first place uh, a girl be forced into a union she's not interested in. And um, of course, uh, some of them are arguing that uh, even religiously, it's uh, against the religion, and, um, but it's a, a bit of a cultural thing because um, the BBC House spoke with uh, the Nigerian, uh, the religious police in Kano, whom were saying that uh, in Islam, it's wrong to force any couple into marriage and um, the Hizba board in Kano told us that um, from January to date they have um, separated six couples that were forced into these marriages and um, the brides complained. So something mm. seems to be happening. Yeah. All right. Ali, we have to leave it there but thank you for taking time to talk to us on the program. You're welcome. Thank you.